Hi guys, it's uh, Ricky here again. Um, I work at uh, ILM as a VFX compositor and I thought I'll do another video based on the requests that I got from my last video. So this time we'll be talking about image upscaling. This is part one, the part two would be video upscaling. So let's uh, get into it. So for this one, I tested uh, a lot of uh, different let me show you guys so i tested a lot of different uh, kind of uh, subjects so a dog for 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 uh, the, the fine details for cityscape for night structure for the city that is like defocused people this is something abstract to see if any of the models hallucinate and then of course the last one is 2d image um, and then i tested a lot of different models um, um, super seed vr and then flux with dype flux with srpo um, this is seed vr and then i also tested flash vsr and then some uh, ultimate um sd upscale and a uh, few more direct upscale by model um workflows <clears throat> so the results were quite surprising um if you look at this image so this is zoomed in um one to one of the previous uh, uh one you saw so um um so it's quite different if you look at uh, let's say the fur um super did okay in 2k but 4k wasn't that good but then uh, seed vr2 did great um in 1k and 4k compared to 2k and then if we look at uh, these defocused images where we are seeing some pixelations um super did good with 1k and 2k but not so much in 4k cdvr didn't do good in uh, 1k but it did good in 2k um and then if we see some so i did not notice much hallucination fortunately with these two but some other models um there was a lot of hallucination and a lot of uh, over sharpening of the edges which was causing halos um and then for 2d um super in my opinion didn't do well we can see the eyes they are not sharp at all but on the other hand um cdvr2 did great so um um yeah and i think this is what we should uh, take from this video that each upscaler is very different and it will always give you different results so it's always worth trying a few different upscalers then pick one um, so now if you look at some of the workflows um, so this is a super very basic you just plug it in and add some description and it will just give you the image I tried to fine-tune these but it doesn't really make a much difference it's it's pretty much plug-and-play um, and then the other one was seed vr which is also very good you can fine tune by picking up the different model the 3b is pretty good and it's uh, very good on vram and not very slow and i think any 12 gigs of vram card can run this and you can get a very good quality of uh, 4k so we can see the whiskers of the dog then this one we don't see much it's all blurry goop um but yeah in this one it's uh pretty good in recreating all the details and uh, doesn't really over sharpen so i think uh overall seed vr in my opinion is uh overall very well balanced so uh and then there are a lot of settings that you can play around with um to get a good result and uh, something that fits your card um, <clears throat> and then uh, i would say this that um, depending on the image a lot of the times there is no information to begin with for these upscalers to um, 
exponentiate that detail that it needs to create, right? So to fix that, I have created this workflow which takes uh, FlexDev Crea with uh, DYPE because DYPE's main focus is creating 4K images out of the box with a lot of details. So um, I use uh, the model with uh, 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 VAE encode and then add the prompt and then run it out again with a upscaler and you get a very good result. Let's check this out. And it's not very heavy on uh, the VRAM. It's pretty fast. So it's generating the image plus it is upscaling. So this is the old image. This is the new image. It is so much detail it is produced. Look at the eyes. And also guys, uh, as a, a VFX compositor who's been in the industry for a long time, um, it's important that you don't overdo it. You don't over sharpen it. You don't over scale it. You don't uh, overcook it. Otherwise it's gonna look bad. So uh, uh, make sure that it looks natural and it's not overdone. Um, <clears throat> that is uh, my advice. Um, so I think I'm pretty happy with uh, the results this uh, that I've got. Um, and then 4K is more than enough for visual effects work. Um, and then let's see my other um, uh, detailer. This is a skin detailer. This is my uh, gift. I'll get I'll uh, drop the link for both of these uh, workflows. Thank you everyone who's been uh, um, subscribed and uh, watching my videos. I really appreciate the support. Um, anyways, let's get into this. So this uh, is a very specific skin detailer workflow. It's plug and play. You don't have to do anything. Um, so this is based on SRPO because right now SRPO is the model that creates the best skin. And I also added a, a flux skin detailer just to help it a bit. <clears throat> so in a step one, you load your models in the LoRa. In step two, you <clears throat> Um, input your image and then uh, hit preview and then you can see it creates the mask um, go forward and then we change the denoise whatever we need to um, the sweet spot is like around 0 0.3545 I cranked it up a bit so that we can see in the uh, on YouTube you guys can see and let's uh, Play this and this one is also very fast it's it's uh, comparatively faster com considering it this also does upscale as well as uh, skin detailing all right guys so this was the old um, classic flux skin um, very shiny and it has very plasticky look so let's see what it does so i've overdone it because i wanted to show how it looks but i would definitely bring it down um, <clears throat> but you can see how much detail it has added and also if you think the the texture is a bit ugly that is because i have added skin imperfections <clears throat> let's see if we have another one let's check out this one and then i hit preview and then it selects the mask i'm gonna <clears throat> keep it the same prompts let's see <clears throat> check this out so it's definitely too much let's bring it down Let's say 
So check this out guys. This is old. This is new. Look at the eyes and the eyebrows. So much detail. So realistic. So this is uh, what it does. You can further bring it down for a beautiful look. Um, but at least it adds the realism. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, try these workflows out and let me know your experience. And also um, let me in the, in the comments, let me know what uh, next topic you guys want me to talk about. Thank you.